Hello and welcome to the video review from TouchGaming.org. Today we'll be looking at Safest Tongue. It's available for 99 cents. Um, it's the safest media game. Uh, this is a very simplistic game that has a very innovative gameplay mechanic. Um, I'll show that in a minute, but it's touted as a hula hoop for your wrist. Um, there are four main menu options: play, instructions, high score, and about. It's also a sound or music button in the top left corner. You can turn music on or off. Uh, there's a nice little catchy tune, which is uh, nice thing to hear since most some games uh, tend to not have any music at all. Uh, this definitely adds a little bit of uh, flavor to the game. Uh, in the about menu, you'll see the little credits here. Uh, we're gonna skip through that. Um, there's also the high scores. There's global high scores as well as local. As you can see, global high scores. This works up very nicely since this game is very basic. And like I said, it's just a hula hoop, so you want to try to get a high score and uh, show it off. Um, in the instruction page, what's interesting is that because the game is uh, kind of confusing, they've actually added a little uh, video which plays and shows you how to do the, play the game. There's a nice little video. Some of the people who work at Sabus Media and they're explaining how to play the game. But we'll skip through that. Um, as you can see from the information screen, uh, you put your iPhone in horizontal position and uh, you use gravity or the accelerometer, technically, to move uh, Sapis or Monus. And uh, by moving him, you gain as much speed as possible. And by tapping the screen, you'll launch your character across the screen. And the further you go, the higher you score. So now we'll play a game here. Um, I'm not going to go too quickly because uh, otherwise you won't be able to see, see the screen too well. But um, there's one of the characters, Sapis. He looks like Kermit the Frog. Um, hopefully you can see this. Well, the idea is that you use like a hula hoop as such. As you can see, the character is spinning around. And then just tap and you can launch the character. Um, this game does get very addicting uh, since you definitely want to try and get a high score. It does have a learning curve since you won't be too good at uh, spinning the character for a little bit. You'll have to actually learn how to do it. Uh, once you click the stop, you can click play again, save score, and menu. Save score gives you the option of setting it to the global high scores if you want. This is a very low score, obviously, but uh, do it again. As you can see, you can also go the opposite direction, go counterclockwise or clockwise. Yeah, I'm gonna go counterclockwise or clockwise this time. Watch the character. As you see, your character bounces, and there are many obstacles. You get bonus points for hitting birds, etc. And there's a nice little background to go along with it. As you can see, the music is still very nice and catchy. Uh, we'll go back to the main menu now. Try with the other character, which is Monus. And here we go. As you see, the characters are only different skins. Uh, they don't actually serve any different purpose. But it's still a lot of fun. Um, on the right corner of the screen, you can see uh, your angle, which is the angle of the monkey or frog, the character. So I hit a launch in that angle. It's also the speed, so you can see how fast you're going. I'm going about the middle of the speedometer, but we'll launch it again. In the top is your score, and in this top left corner, you can access the menu. So he's bouncing, his arms are waving. The graphics are simple, but they look nice and you get the job done. Um, this game obviously isn't looking to uh, impress you with its graphics, but does have nice music and very addicting gameplay. Uh, play one more time since it is very interesting. Um, the game is a lot of fun. Like I said, it does get very addicting since it is kind of hard to use the hula hoop at first, but eventually get into it and it will work much better. And uh, it feels kind of interesting to do it with your wrist, so uh, you'll have a lot of fun with it. And it's a great little app to show it to your friends. Uh, It'll get some interesting responses from them. But anyways, this has been a review, review video review from touchgaming.org. Um, check out our website for more reviews. Thanks for watching.